This video will guide you through the assembly process of the Vienna. For this assembly, you will need the following tools. Phillips screwdriver, a set of wrenches, box cutter, wire cutter, Allen wrench, T-wrench. The first step is to remove the bike out of the box. First, use the wire cutter to cut the straps in the box. Using a box cutter, cut the box along the indicated lines. Inside the box, you should find the following. Front wheel, fender, charger, carrying case, pedals, pedal cranks, mirrors, tool kit, U-lock, cell phone holder, rain poncho, screws and mounts, replacement bulbs, and a repair kit. After removing the bike from the box, your bike should look close to the following. To install the front fender, first detach the nut securing the axle on the fork. Then use a wrench to detach the four screws on the fork. Slide the fender in place and attach the screws back on the fork. Make sure you attach the clip holding the disc brake onto the screw when reattaching it to the fork. Finish attaching the rest of the screws on the fork. Tighten all four screws with the wrench. Let's install the front wheel. Start by removing the plastic placeholder in the slot where the front wheel will attach. There are three spacers of different lengths. Make sure you use the correct spacer for the following steps. Place the medium sized spacer in the middle of the front wheel. Attach the disc brake onto the front wheel and attach it onto this groove on the fork. Slowly lower the fork. Take the smallest spacer and place it in between the fork and disc brake. Then take the axle and push it through the front wheel. On the other side, place the larger spacer in between the fork and the front wheel. Align the spacer to the fork. Carefully push the axle all the way through the fork. Use force if necessary. Attach the nut on the axle and tighten it with a wrench. Let's now check the battery. Using the key provided, open the seat compartment and lift the bike seat to reveal the battery. Plug this cord to the battery port and lock it in place. Turn on the breaker switch. To charge the battery, plug the charger to the port located in front of the seat and the other end into a 110 volt outlet. Pay attention to the indicator lights. Red means the battery is charging. Green means it is fully charged. To start your e-bike, insert the key in the ignition and turn. Test the motor slightly by turning the handlebars to activate the throttle. The switches for the headlight, taillight, front and rear turn signals are located near the handlebars. Check to make sure the headlight and turn signals on the front are working. Make sure to check if the rear turn signals are working properly in addition to the brake lights. To install the carrying case, place it on the mount open the lid and remove the mat. Make sure to line up the holes with the slots and place the four screws with washers through the top. Attach the nuts provided on the bottom. Use a wrench to secure the nuts on the bottom and tighten all four screws on top with a screwdriver. Replace the mat, close the lid and the carrying case is installed. To install the mirrors, simply screw in the mirror to the appropriate side. Tighten the attached nut with a wrench. Do the same for the other side. The last piece you'll need to install are the pedals. This bike does not have similar pedals. Check the markings on each pedal to determine which side they should go on. Push the pedal crank in and attach the nut. Tighten it with a T-wrench. Attach the cover. Then attach the pedal in place and tighten it with a wrench. Repeat these steps on the other side. Note that the pedal cranks should be parallel and pointing in opposite directions. Attach the pedal and tighten it with a wrench. Check to ensure that the chains properly spin when the pedals are rotated. Before you ride your bike, take 60 seconds to perform a quick check. Check the tread on the tires and use a tire pressure gauge to make sure your tires are at 40 psi. Check your brakes and brake lights by applying pressure on the brake levers. 
check your headlight, tail light, and both front and rear turn signals. Look out for any loose nuts and bolts and tighten them. And lastly, check the battery charge by inspecting the battery indicator on the dashboard. Once you've finished performing the 60 second check, you're ready to go. Remember to always wear a helmet and observe the rules on the road. Be safe out there. If you experience any difficulties or have any questions, visit us at www.daymac.com.